Hello people, what's up? And today you will not be seeing my face, which is a relief to some of you, because today we're taking a look at the Love May Powerful for the Galaxy S7 Edge. It's this thing here. And yeah, it's a case, so doesn't sound that interesting. Got a little hair on it already. I received this today after waiting for it to two, for two weeks, because international shipping sucks ass. So, let's take a look at this. It's for the S7 Edge, and as you can see here, it's a lot bigger than the S7 Edge, if I can get it into frame. So, the S7 fits kind of like in here, and there's a lot of real estate on the outside. And this thing is a tank, and I really like the red color. So let's get in here with my trusty iFixit kit. You actually need to undo six screws in order to open this case and extract the phone or put the phone in. Which might seem overkill to some, but considering that this is for, you know, extreme cases like dropping the phone from almost two meters, the website of the uh, manufacturer states a 1.8 meter drop protection, which is pretty insane. So, this is really, really sturdy. I mean, this is real hardcore. Inside you have this kind of TPU plastic, no, not plastic, um, rubber-like material, which is very nice. This comes out. I'll show you later why. And you just lay the phone into it. I mean, it's really not that complicated. There, that's it. Let's put this back in here. Remove a few hairs. Power button works without any problems. And you put on the outer frame. Holy crap. Now this thing is not light or, as you can see, easy to open. Uh, it comes with a small tool to open it, but I like the iFixit kit better because it's magnetic. And this is not for, you know, your everyday carry. First of all, it adds a lot of weight to the device. So I don't have any actual measurements, but I'd say it's pretty much twice as heavy, if not more, with the case on. Okay, I have to tilt this up a little. Okay, and here it is, the S7. Let's unlock the phone. S7 in the Love Me powerful for Galaxy S7 Edge case, which is quite a name. You have the company name here, Love Me, M E I. And it's a really nice finish. It's high quality, it's it's very uh, rubbery on the on the side because it does really as you can see I can actually press in here, which is good. It's a top uh, drop protection. So, it's really springy here. Uh, power button works without any problems, so do the volume buttons. Um, the headphone jack is this little door here. Now, I haven't tried out the headphone jack, but as I will show you in a close-up that I will do, I don't know if you can get all the jacks in here. I mean, I have some, some speaker cables that are 3.5 millimeter, that I know you cannot get in here. That's just too narrow. But it depends on the headphones. If you have, you know, headphones like for your head earphones, those are usually really slim. And also here you can get in with a micro USB cable, which is really far in there actually. So the outside of the case is really thick compared to the phone. The case itself is pretty thin. Uh, thin. The slim and thin, thin. I'm combining both, and yeah, it's it's heavy. I mean, you can whack someone over the head with this thing, and it'll hurt. 
but that's not what this is for. There's a hole here for the uh, second microphone. There's nothing on the bottom here. So I haven't actually... Oh, right, there's two speaker grills on the front here that uh, redirect the sound from this speaker grill to the front. And I assume that also acts as a microphone in, you know, so the, on the bottom there's a microphone and at the top so you have one for noise cancellation. So I assume this speaker grill is, or these two speaker grills are for that. Uh, here you have a hole which is for a lanyard that comes in the box. This thing, which is, you know, pretty standard, it's nothing special about it. Has the company name on it again. So you wherever wherever you go with this case, you'll be making uh, pretty much an advertising campaign campaign for the company. <laughs> but that's the case for pretty much every case I've ever seen, so that's not a problem. You also get this little screen cleaning thing, which works fine, you know it's thing. And two extra screws. I don't have the, the tool to open the case with me, it's in the other room, but it's a small, pretty much this thing, only like this long, and that's it. So nothing special there, it's non-magnetic, which is why I like my iFixit tool so much more. So yeah, not much else has to be said about this thing. It's not for everyday use, you're not gonna put uh, take your phone out or put it in every five minutes because that'll be annoying. It's, for example, in, a, in around two weeks I'm going to Croatia and I will be on the beach and this case will be on my phone uh, in the bag on the beach just because this is just hardcore. I don't care if I throw the bag somewhere and this thing lands, it, the phone is protected. Uh, the phone, the case is too thick, unfortunately, to allow for, what's it called, wireless charging. Right, because I tried it with the official Samsung station to charge the phone, it didn't work. It's too thick, the, the distance to the charging pad, uh, between the phone and the charging pad is probably too big, so that's a no-no. I don't like that because I love wirelessly charging my phone. I can't do it with this one, so I have to do it through the bottom USB jack. But yeah, for vacation that won't matter. And it, yeah, it holds in there perfectly, there's no rattling around. It's a high quality material. I don't actually know if that's steel or aluminium or titanium. I can look it up at the home page. Maybe the case itself says it. Does it say anything? Impact lens, unpro uncompromised touchscreen performance. Yes, of course, because there's no actual screen protection on it. So of course the touchscreen performance is awesome. It's dust resistant. The connectors are covered. It does not actually tell you Metal heavy armor for a practical and durable poly, uh, poly, polymer and metal materials to build high quality anti pressure drop resistance. Yeah, but it doesn't tell me what it's made out of. The home page probably did, but I forgot about it. Yeah, who cares? It's a cool case. It depends on what you want to use it for. If you want something that's basically built like a tank, this is awesome. I love it. So, depending on the situation, really, really nice and really good looking. You'll be turning heads with this. It's available in several different colors, black and gray and red and yellow, but I just love red. I'm a sucker for red and this red is really cool. I hope the the color really comes uh, out in the video that it's really well visible. It almost looks like I have scratches here, but I don't. Just smudges. So yeah, Love May, powerful for Galaxy S7, great case, international shipping takes a long time and it's not all that cheap. Um, I think I paid 40, around 45 euros for it or 47, I'm not sure right now. So it's not a cheap case, but the quality material is really awesome. By the way, the screen, I don't know if that's visible here, I only have a tiny screen to look at it, it the cover on top 
offsets from the screen so when you lay it down the screen does not uh, contact the table or whatever you're laying it on so that's really nice there are two bumpers here so you, that doesn't happen so that's really nice the back is a rubberized thing probably also to you know have no problem with uh, cellular connectivity and things like that Wi-Fi and the camera is totally well protected I mean there's nothing standing out or anything so, yeah thank you very much for watching this video I hope it wasn't too weird with the camera pointed at the angle that it's pointed uh, my name is Oliver thank you very much for watching again uh, subscribe to the channel if you liked the video, give it a, a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Leave your comments down below. Uh, and I will see you in the next video.